Well, for more on the topic, let's bring in neuroscientist Tali Sharat, director of the Effective Brain Lab. She joins us live from Boston. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, let's start with the age-old question. Does money buy you happiness? And is there a point where your happiness level just doesn't change no matter how much money you have? So the impact of happiness, um, the impact of wealth on happiness is actually much smaller than what people think. Other things matter much more. But there's two points here. One is that wealth does matter when it comes to people living in poverty. People living in poverty are not as happy. But after a certain point, more money does not buy you more happiness. And number two, relativity matters. So if you're making 75,000 pounds, but everyone around you is making 100,000 pounds, well, you're not going to be as happy as the person that's making 75,000, but everyone around them is making 50,000. So relativity matters, and it does matter for the um, low economic uh, factors. Now, now, speaking of workers, studies show that even after a pay raise, that initial high of getting an income boost doesn't seem to last. Why is that? Well, um, first of all, I mean, there's, there's a certain amount that we can do with money. But second of all, there's something called adaptation, which is any kind of reward feels really good at first, but we kind of adapt to it after a while. And we actually need more and more of it to get a kick. So um, adaptation is one reason why more and more and more money was not necessarily going to make us happier. So as we look at other factors, looking around the world, what are some of the factors beyond money that really go into determining what makes people happy? So social factors are hugely important. Do you have someone to call on to when in times of need? Um, your relationship with your partner seems to be very important, with your children, other, other members of the family, um, people you work with. So social factors are really, really important. Other than that, mental health seems to be very important. Physical health is very important. And are you employed? Um, do you have satisfaction from your work? And speaking of work and satisfaction, how big of a role do things like job security and benefits play into how happy a person is? Well, I mean, as you, as you said before, the number one happiest nation is Norway and then Denmark, and that's followed by other North um, European countries. And what they have in common is they have um, access to health care. The, the citizens have access to education, global access. And that brings with it safety. It brings with it trust, social trust. And it seems that those things are very important for happiness. Now, you mentioned relativity. I'd like to circle back to that. We have this 24-hour news cycle bombarding us with updates, social media. How does that sort of thing tend to affect people's happiness? Yeah, so I, I think that can have a negative effect. One reason is that the things that people upload and what they say on social media is probably a little bit of a more positive image than, than real life, right? But you kind of scroll on your social feed and you see how everyone's happy, everyone's going on vacation, you know, they're only highlighting the most positive um, aspects of their life, but it may make the person uh, looking at their social feel, feel like they're not, they're, they don't have as much as the other people and it can have a negative effect. Now, what about some simple tips for really maintaining happiness regardless of the amount of money that you have? So maintaining your social ties, that's extremely important. Um, and having, having time with family and friends, that seems to be important. Making sure that physical health um, is good. So that means exercise. It means eating well. Um, making sure that whatever you can do for mental health, if there's a problem, reaching out, those factors can help. All right. Lots of good tips there. Thank you very much. Neuroscientist Tali Sharat, director of the Effective Brain Lab.